guess I, had, um, if you both can just answer this, just what had, what's the trip been like? And what have your impressions been of this building? Uh, and just overall, what you know, what this is, uh, the experience has been like so far, just a few, a few days in. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been quick, so we haven't really got to experience too much. Um, but it seems like an awesome city. Uh, the rink is great. Um, I'm excited to see. I mean, I haven't even seen the big rink yet, but um, you know, it's it's great being here. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, just piggyback off what he said. Uh, it's been been quick so far, um, but the facility is awesome. Um, state of the art building. Excited to see the game rink. Um, got to use their gym. Beautiful, um, beautiful city. Um, looking forward to touring it some more and checking out some spots. So, Tate, when you think about uh, the the connection that you had last year on a line with JJ Alex, how how did that connection work, and do you anticipate that carrying into a new season? Yeah, it was good. Um, clicked there at the end of the season, and um, you know finished. Uh, finished the season together playing pretty pretty solid hockey. Um, carried that through summer um, with the training and obviously uh, you go your separate ways, but coming back together, starting off uh, preseason and training camp's been, been a pretty instant click again. So looking forward to see how that plays out and continue to build chemistry and, and get things going. Dylan, what, what have you gotten from Lindy so far um, early, you know, early in this? Um, it's not early anymore in camp, but just through camp. What has he brought uh, that has really hooked your team, I guess? Just a lot of intensity, I think. Um, you know, he's pushing us, which we love. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's just, he's very intense. So, um, you know, we like it. We like the practices. They've been tough, but, you know, it's good. It's what we need. So, um, yeah, he's going to be great for us. Tage, uh, from what I hear around here, it takes a special person to wear later rows and very well. Uh, JJ Paterka just said it'll be either you or uh, Jordan that are going to look in the best in the later rows. Did you get any scouting report on how that's going to work, or are you excited to take uh, part? I, uh, I'm definitely excited to take part. I think I probably got the best legs for it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get immersed in the culture and follow JJ around and. Um, I know he's excited to be back home, so um, it's cool seeing his city and um, just kind of getting the lay of the land and, um, you know, things that are, um, I guess, home to him. Uh, according to that, will you guys go to the Oktoberfest? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, travel to Germany during Oktoberfest, I think it's a, a staple and I um, think the guys are looking forward to that. What are your ex uh, expectations for the game tomorrow and what are you looking forward to the most? Um, I think going in, um, I don't know a whole lot about them um, as a team, but I know they're going to be hungry um, and they're going to be coming out working hard. Um, obviously, it's a big game and um, you know, a lot of excitement, I think, around the city, a lot of buzz. So I think for us, just coming out, keeping it simple early and um, you know, sticking to details and, and not trying to cheat the game. I think it's going to be a, a good match. Stylistically, what's exciting you the most about the way you guys play the first two preseason games? I just, I so far I've just liked our commitment um, to the game plan that Lindy set forward um, and all the coaching staff. Um, it's very detail oriented. We're not letting anything slip. And I, I think you look at both the preseason games we've played so far; they've been. Um, very hard working, very detail oriented games that the scoring didn't really come until the second and third where we wore the team down. Um, and I think that's because of how disciplined and how bought in everyone's been to the, the defensive side of the game and stopping on pucks, tracking, closing quick in the D zone, things like that add up over the game. And I think that's what led to our offense. And obviously you can look at it and say they don't have a roster, a uh, full roster, you know, the teams that we played. But a lot of times those are the hardest games to play in because a lot of those guys have a lot to prove, and um, they're coming out right out of the gate, um, 100 miles an hour. So those so those are sometimes games that you get caught on your heels and um, can spiral out of control. So I thought we did did a good job, and that's kind of what we need going into the season. And um, tomorrow is another opportunity to to build off that. 
Dylan, back to Lindy. When you have a coach now who has the number of wins that he's had, the number of years in the NHL, and he's previously had success in Buffalo too, um, when he stands up in front of the room, does that did that first day? Did, does that instantly grab a player, or is, is it just just on the, the experience of the coach? Yeah, I mean he's obviously got a ton of experience, so. Um, <clears throat> It's it's great to learn from a guy like that who's who's been been around the league for a long time. He's played in the league and and he knows what it takes to win. So um, you know I think he knows exactly what our group needs and he knows how to to get the most out of our group. So um, you know I'm excited to to play some real games uh, under him.